So it's Boxing Day. It's a really crazy day on the racing front. There are too many races, too many horses, um, too many meetings. Uh, there's too much going on, and uh, you know it's very very hard to pick your way through it. Although you have uh, Kempton, which is obviously an important meeting, the King George meeting, and that's obviously going to provide the highlight. Um, but I commented on the blog about picking and choosing races, and I just wanted to show you uh, what I do in Bet Angels to do that. So I bring up Guardian, and on the quick picks list that you see here, um, you can select all of the races. So I'm going to select all UK, all Irish racing, add them to Guardian, then you see Guardian starts populating these markets. Now if you want to speed this up, you can go up here and get it to update a lot quicker. But basically, Guardian will cycle through the markets and begin to pick out all of the races that are coming up and what's going on within those races. So once all of those are loaded, we'll just check to see that all of those are loaded. There you go. Um, I'll slow the refresh down just simply because um, that just makes sense. And what you can do on Guardian, you can sort by volume. So you can see here, Kempton. Um, Kempton, Kempton, Kempton. So that's telling you, obviously, Kempton is the feature meeting, which we know anyway. But nonetheless, that gives you confirmation of that fact. Um, but it also gives you a hint of some of the other races that are, are going to stick out in the card as well. Because you're sorting by volume, these are the ones that people are interested in and therefore that you should pay attention to. Now, races that are just about to go off will obviously have more volume than other races. But, for example, you can see here um, there are a few races that are slightly higher up the list than maybe you'd expect. So you can start to determine which meetings are more important than others. So typically you can see Wind Count in Weatherby, Leopardstown appears in a few minutes. Um, but you can generally see there that there's activity in some markets and not the others. This isn't foolproof, but it gives you a good guide. But what you can also do is sort by market. So um, Chipstow isn't running until tomorrow. So you've got the uh, Welsh National there. But can you see here, Down Royal, very low volume. Fontwell, apart from the current races that are coming up, very low volume. Um, Huntingdon, not much going on there. Kempton, whoa, loads of stuff. So you can see immediately that there's stuff going on there. And um, if we scroll down, you can see Limerick doesn't have much going on. Uh, Market Raisin doesn't have a great deal going on. Sedgefield uh, is pretty weak as well. Um, not much interest in Toaster. But you can see here that there's a bit more interest in Weatherby. And there's a bit more interest in Wynn Canton. And Wolverhampton's running a bit later. Uh, got some racing standing on its own. So there's a, a little bit more interest there. But you can immediately see that there are a chunk of races here that just aren't very interesting at all. So, you know, if we look at Dan Royal, um, you may as well sort of strike that out. So if I click there and move the cursor up a bit, um, we can delete just those markets. So you can see I've just hit the delete key and it's saying, would you like to remove those markets? Yes, you can. Um, Huntington is going off just before Kempton. So um, I'm not uh, fantastically keen on Huntington. Um, so I'm going to remove that so that I can focus on Kempton. And you can basically go through the card and start deleting um, and amending markets that you're not that particularly interested in. So if we go through this card, in fact we could probably demolish most of those, then that leaves you, if we sort again by the time in which they're due to start, which you can do by clicking here or over here, then that gives you a much better pattern of how you're likely to trade and what you're going to plan to do. You can see here based upon the start times being the same, that Wolverhampton's going to clash with Weatherby. So you can make a decision on whether, which one you want to trade. Um, and I think you would have to trade Weatherby to start with and maybe Wolverhampton a bit later on. If you can be bothered to go on that long, I'm not going to go past the last race at Kempton probably. Um, but using Guardian, you can zip around and get a really good feel for what's going on. And you can see, you know, big race here of the day is... Um, attracting a lot of volume already. But Guardian's a useful way of just looking around the markets, figuring out what you're going to do very quickly. If you're interested in learning more about BetAngel, its tools and the opportunities they present, why not visit BetAngel.com today to download a free trial.